Despite Daniel Rodriguez's desire to play at Virginia Tech, life doesn't always work out the way you plan it. I really thought I was going to go to Virginia Tech. I really wanted to. I've been a Hokie fan, you know, since I was a kid. But uh, I just took my visit down to Clemson and I fell in love with it. Uh, I mean, I just had that instantaneous connection with the family bond here. Clemson University stepped up and asked the NCAA for a waiver to clear Rodriguez to join their team. My past grades in high school were extremely poor. And for Clemson to put their reputation, their name on the line on behalf of me just makes me that more proud to be in orange and purple, you know? But first, he had to be accepted as a student. In May, something arrived in the mail he wasn't expecting. And I figured it was just like a packet or something like that. And I was reading it, you know, I, the opening statements, like, you know, been accepted to Clemson University. And I was just like, whoa. Since June, he has been here at Clemson, taking classes. But he was prohibited from working out with a team until the NCAA ruling. On June 28th, the NCAA granted Rodriguez the waiver, giving him three years of eligibility to walk on and try and make the football team. Dabo Sweeney has been the head football coach at Clemson since 2008. Uh, this guy, would, when you really study his track record and, and the price he had paid to, to, for him to have this opportunity and uh, to go chase his dreams. I'm very thankful to our administration and all those here who, who wrote waivers for him and uh, made the appeal to the NCAA to, you know, in my opinion, it was pretty much a no-brainer. Known as the Clemson Tigers, Sweeney's team is nationally ranked this preseason in the top 15. Here's a guy who's been a sergeant of probably 20 or 40 men and has had their life in his hands. And now he's in your locker room. And you know what? He may not be the star player, but he's going to be a leader. And he's going to help these guys that are 18, 19, 20, 21 years old who don't quite have it all figured out quite like he does. He understands what a privilege it is and what an opportunity it is to be able to live in this country to be able to enjoy the freedoms that we have and, and to be able to do something like play the game of football. Uh, he gets it. Now I have the opportunity to return the favor by performing on the field, performing in the classroom, and being a role model to kids in this community. It's a great feeling knowing they did that, and uh, I can only repay it by my actions, so I can't wait to do it. Rodriguez thinks it was fate that led him to Clemson. The first tattoo he ever got was a tiger on his torso. He began practicing with the team on August 3rd. With camp starting and everything like that, getting back in the swing of things, it's a grind. I mean, it kind of reminds me, it takes me back to basic training where, you know, you have a time schedule, you got to be up at this time, you eat at this time, you know, this, that, and the other. So um, it's fun. I love it. Seeing my locker with a name up top, you know, and putting a helmet on again and, you know, getting uniform and clothes, just like, like kid in a candy store, you know, it's just like that feeling of joy. But within a week of starting camp, Rodriguez was injured, partially separating his shoulder. For me, putting on the pads, there's always that reality or possibility that you could get hurt. And actually, I mean, it sparked that spark again. It made me feel alive. You know, you can't compare the weight of a, a linebacker to the speed of an AK-47, though. So, you know, that's how it works, you know. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, so. I know what to do next time. At Clemson's Fan Appreciation Day, thousands lined up to take photos and get autographs with their favorite Tigers. Despite the fact that Rodriguez has not yet played, many are already fans of number 83. I'm so proud of him from what he did. I served over there. I know what he went through. I know how hard it was and for him to come back and do what he's doing. I'm just, my, my heart, God bless him, it just goes out to him. I think he's, he's, he's already a hero. If I'm going to get an autograph, I like having his. We are so inspired by his story. We're so happy he's um, at Clemson, um, joined the Clemson family. We're big Clemson fans. We've seen a lot of players over the year, but my son saw the story and he really wanted to come get his autograph. He was a strong guy and he was in the military. Whether he ever is a star or even gets on the field, uh, he'll always be one of my favorite players. Rodriguez is nearly fully recovered and back practicing with the team.
His sights are on the season opener, his first game since high school. The anticipation is what is what keeps me going, is what keeps me in that playbook, is what keeps me, you know, recovering and getting my mind right. If Rodriguez stays healthy, there's a good chance he will see his first action in the game against Furman University on September 15th. Knowing that I've done it and I've accomplished it, and but, but at the same time, I, I want more. I want more from it. I just, I don't want to be a, just a name on the sideline, you know. I'm just going to do what I have to do, and hopefully the job gets done, and you know I can make a play or two. That'd be great. Whether he's successful on the football field or not, Rodriguez is already living his dream. There's no ounce of, of uh, fear or hesitation. Um, you know, I always look at it as it's not getting blown up. It's not being overrun. It's not being wounded or you know seeing your buddies die in combat. It's a game. It's a game that uh, I, I've had an opportunity to play. It's a game that I've dreamed about playing. It's a game that I've worked hard to get here to play. We're told that Daniel Rodriguez will be given the honor of leading his new band of brothers on October 20th for Military Appreciation Day at Clemson. Rodriguez will be carrying the American flag while jets fly overhead. Ironically, that's his father's birthday and the game will be against Virginia Tech.